Cave Diving Tragedy of Linnea Mills A scary yet horrifying incident resulting in an 18-year-old Linnea Rose Mills death. While volunteering for marine biology projects at the University of North Carolina, she first experienced the thrill of scuba diving, but who could have told that it would turn into misery for her parents? Well, what happened to her? How did the police take care and what went wrong? Why did the parents lose their child? Is any place safe for children or adults? How did the enjoyment become a tragedy? Welcome back to our channel, so we'll dive in to know more about this story. When the sheriff phoned Lisa Mills late one November night, she knew her daughter was dead. The sheriff contacted us and wouldn't say what was wrong, but they said they had to come to our house, Mills recalled. And at that moment, I realized, unless there has been a death in the family, they will not visit. Consequently, I broke the news to my husband that Linnea had passed away and that we should get ready for the funeral. The news that their daughter Linnea had drowned in Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park during open water scuba training with Gold Dive of Missoula did not reach Scott and Lisa Mills until well after midnight, and they found out that the National Park Service was looking into it since Gold Dive hadn't been given permission to conduct business there. Parts of the inquiry are included in a 112-page lawsuit that Mills and two other divers filed this week against Gold Dive, its owners David and Janine Olson, and dive instructors Debbie Snow and Seth Liston. The probe's been going on for six months. The Professional Association of Diving Instructors Worldwide Incorporation is also being sued for allegedly carelessly monitoring its members. Linnea Mills was planning on receiving her advanced open water certification in Missoula, Montana in the fall of 2020. The dive shop she picked had not only a history of neglect, but they were also way over their heads by giving training like that, and she had no idea. A student diver with a brand new, previously used dry suit, 22 kilograms of weights, and not even an inflate hose. On her very first dive in frigid water and at high altitude, a careless, zero-to-hero, paddy teacher who lacks genuine cold water and dry suit qualifications. The end consequence was a severe compression of the suit, which led to drowning. The accidental death ruling was made by a coroner who lacked training in diving accidents and who also relied on misleading testimony. Therefore, no criminal accusations were brought forward. Linnea's family, together with two other divers who took part in the activity, have decided to sue Patty, the instructor, and the facility for a total of $12 million in damages. Standards in the industry are at an all-time low, and many old-school industry experts, including myself, have stated on multiple occasions. Since 1995, the quality of professional instructors that have been taught has steadily declined, and this trend has continued with each modification in S&Ps that has been made to boost the production of said instructors. In addition to certificates, these are generally regarded as the primary source of revenue for businesses such as PADI or PADI. Paddy Quality Assurance Department may be one of the best in the industry, but the organization is still just a corporation that has the right to enforce its policies on its customers. If there are any fines at all, they'll be reduced according to the customer size. The family has filed a lawsuit seeking $12 million in damages, alleging that the Gold Dive Center was negligent in not providing Linnea with a proper dry suit instruction, an inflator hose, proper briefing, and supervision, and that she was fatally overweight with non-ditchable weight. The lawsuit also alleges that the Gold Dive Center failed to provide Linnea with proper supervision. According to the allegations made in the lawsuit, the end consequence was that Linnea was fatally crushed at deep and was unable to breathe or return to the surface due to limits imposed by the suit and the fact that her weight exceeded the capacity of the BC. This caused her to die as a result. The legal complaint and other press reports indicate that there are more problems surrounding the instructor's capacity to teach dry suit, the lack of emergency protocols, and the paddy teaching status of the Gold Diving Center. These are all areas of concern according to the allegations, and Patty is also a defendant in this legal action. So will a lawsuit with a value of $12 million be sufficient to hurt a corporate giant? Or better yet, reorient professional diver training to produce quality professional divers? Comment down below your thoughts, and we'll be right back with more stories for you. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel.